Many times I'm asked, how do you re-tip a snooker cue? Well, this is how I do it. And kids, this is a job best left to dad. The first thing to do, and be very careful here, is to remove the old tip with the aid of a Stanley knife. The next thing to do is to grab a file and make sure that the residue from the old tip is removed and that the top of the cue is perfectly flat. Next you must get the tip that you've selected and rub it on a piece of sandpaper on the bottom ensuring that that's nice and clean also and perfectly flat. At this point I always run a little bit of tape around the top of the ferrule and the shaft of the cue just in case any excess glue goes on either. Next take some gelatinous super glue and put a dab on top of the cue. Then here's the tricky bit, make sure that you get your tip and place it perfectly on top ensuring that with a nice firm push the two surfaces contact very firmly together. Once you're satisfied that this tip is set firm, now it's time to start the preparation. Leaving the electrical insulation tape in place, because it will protect the shaft, take the cue in your hand and now, with the roughest grade of sandpaper that you've got, start in a downward motion taking the edges of the tip off. When you're happy that the square edges of the tip have been removed in a doming fashion, Go to the second grade of sandpaper and do the same thing. Then eventually move to the lightest grade you've got and now you should be forming a perfect dome on the side of your tip. When you're happy with the shape of the tip, take away the tape, maybe use the finest sandpaper to clean up the ferrule and you're ready for play.